Unit 7. Holidays. Recording 1. Hot. Cold. Fast. Slow. Crowded. Empty. Expensive. Cheap. Comfortable. Uncomfortable. Interesting. Boring. Quiet. Noisy. Unit 7. Recording 2. So, on holiday, how do you like travelling? By plane, train or car? Well, I don't like airports, so put train. I hate travelling by car. Oh, me too. I put plane because, well, planes are faster than trains. Not always. OK, number two. It says, I like staying in A, a hotel, B, a self-catering apartment, or C, a tent. <laughs> Forget the tent. Um, in an apartment. And you? In a hotel. Really? A hotel's more expensive than an apartment. Yeah, but it's more comfortable. Hmm, next question. Do you prefer relaxing on a beach, doing something sporty, or going sightseeing? Hmm, what does it mean, something sporty? Um, playing tennis? Or maybe golf? <laughs> no, thank you. Not on holiday. But I hate staying on the beach all day. Boring. OK, there's one we answered the same. So we agree about that. Yeah, sightseeing's definitely more interesting than the beach. Right. When do you like going on holiday? In spring, summer or winter? In spring. I never go on holiday in winter, but I don't really like very hot weather. Tourist places are more crowded in summer. True, but the weather's better. Summer's hotter than spring. I love hot weather. Well, we don't agree there. Anyway, next question. What do you like eating? Local dishes, the food you usually eat, or fast food? Local dishes, I think. You? <laughs> Definitely. Hmm, interesting. Next. In the evenings, I like going for a walk, going to a restaurant, or going to a nightclub. Um, going to a restaurant. Oh, good. Me too. I don't like noisy places. Yes, I agree. Restaurants are quieter, more relaxing. But I like going for a walk too sometimes, so I'm not sure. Uh, OK, let's say going to a restaurant. And the last question, how long is your perfect holiday? Three months. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have three months. The answer is a weekend, a week or a month. OK, a month then. Me too. Maybe we can travel together. Unit 7. Recording 3. 1. Planes are faster than trains. 2. Summer's hotter than spring. 3. A hotel's more expensive than an apartment. Unit 7. Recording 4. 1. Is it the greatest journey in the world? Two. You see some of the most beautiful places in the world. Three. The best thing was the friendliness of the people. Unit 7. Recording 5. So, Jeff, a few questions about the trip. What was the coldest place you visited? 
The coldest place was in the mountains in Kyrgyzstan. There was lots of snow too. Really? And what was the hottest place? Well, it was Turpan, China. I think it was over 50 degrees centigrade. Ah, oh, was it? And what was the friendliest place? That's an impossible question. I can't say. We met so many fantastic people. I think Iran. The people there were so kind. Perhaps that was my biggest surprise. OK. Uh, what was the longest you travelled in one day? One day we travelled about 150 kilometres in western China. That was a long day. Very. So what was the most beautiful building you saw? There were some great ones in all of the countries. But my favourite building was the Bibi Khanum Mosque in Uzbekistan. I think it's the most beautiful building in the world. Wow. So, what was the most amazing experience of the journey? <laughs> Arriving in Istanbul after 12,000 kilometres. Amazing! Unit 7. Recording 6. 1. G. Turn right. 2. A. Turn left. 3. E. Go straight on. 4. C. Go past the cinema. 5. D. Stop at the traffic lights. 6. F. It's on the corner. 7. B. It's on the right. 8. H. It's on the left. Unit 7. Recording 7. 1. Excuse me. Yes? Can you tell me the way to the Beatles story? Yeah. You go straight on here. And can you see those traffic lights? Yes. Well, turn left at the traffic lights. Turn left? Yes. Then you go past some water. That's Salt House Dock. And you come to some big red buildings. That's Albert Dock. You can't miss it. OK. There are always a lot of tour buses there. Go straight on for about 100 metres. And the Beatles story is on your right. Thanks. So it's left at the traffic lights and then past some water. And then it's on the right at Alba... Albert Dock. Albert Dock. Right. Thanks. No problem. Excuse me, is there a cinema near here? Um, let me think. Yes, there's a cinema in Liverpool 1, the big shopping centre, but it's not very near. Can you tell me the way? I think the easiest way is... Um, OK, go straight on here and then turn right at the traffic lights. The name of the road is Liver Street. Liver Street. Yes, and keep walking. Go past the big car park on the left. There are traffic lights at Hanover Street. Go straight on at the traffic lights. There's a pedestrian street. I think it's called Paradise Street. Paradise Street, OK. Go straight on. The cinema is on the left. You can't miss it. It's really big. Can I just check the first part? So, straight on here, then turn left at the traffic lights. No, turn right. Turn right and go straight on. Yes. Um, can you repeat the last part? OK. 
At the traffic lights at Hanover Street, don't turn left or right. Just go straight on. Okay. And then the cinema's on the left. Yes. How far is it? Oh, about ten minutes from here. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Unit seven, recording eight. Excuse me. Yes. Can you tell me the way to the Beatles story? Yeah, you go straight on here. Excuse me, is there a cinema near here? Um, let me think. Yes, there's a cinema in Liverpool Wood. Unit seven, recording nine. Excuse me, is there a cinema near here? Um, let me think. Yes, there's a cinema in Liverpool One, the big shopping centre, but it's not very near. Can you tell me the way? I think the easiest way is, um, okay. Go straight on here, and then turn right at the traffic lights. The name of the road is Liver Street. Liver Street. Yes, and keep walking. Go past the big car park on the left. There are traffic lights at Hanover Street. Go straight on at the traffic lights. There's a pedestrian street. I think it's called Paradise Street. Paradise Street. Okay. Go straight on. The cinema is on the left. You can't miss it. It's really big. Unit seven, recording ten. One. Turn left. No, turn right. Two. So it's in Wood Road. No, it's in Wood Street. Three. So it's in College Lane. No, it's in School Lane. Four. So it's past the traffic lights. No, past the park. Unit seven, recording eleven. Okay, so this place is in London. It's in the north of London, and most tourists don't know about it. It's called Little Venice. Little Venice because it's next to the water. There's water everywhere. There are lots of boats, houseboats. People live in them. There are lots of good restaurants and cafes next to the water. I like it because I can sit there, have a coffee, and watch people on the boats or by the water. Little Venice is a lovely place in the daytime or at night, and it's one of the best places to take photos. You can take a photo of the houseboats or the water or the people. Some of the people are very interesting. I think the best time to take a photo is in the early morning or in the early evening, because it's really quiet and the light is beautiful.